Tele Windows 11 is now official and it has rounded corners everywhere. Hi, I'm Leonard Crazy and welcome to Crazy Tech Space. So Microsoft unveiled Windows 11 with glass aesthetic user interface and rounded corners everywhere. From the Windows logo, icon and taskbar, personally, I think Microsoft should call this version of Windows, Windows Glass. Now you also notice the start button and icons are now centered. And Microsoft said, search is now powered by cloud, which is to say, search is now powered by Microsoft Bing. Now Snap Layout has also been rejuvenated with a lot of adjustable options to choose from. Now, Snap Layout is one of my favorite multitasking features in Windows, which makes me wonder, Apple, when will you build into Mac OS Snap Control instead of we having to use third-party software? Charlie, come on now. Microsoft Teams is now built into Windows. Now we all know that's Microsoft taking a jab at Apple's iMessage and FaceTime. Charlie, Microsoft, what happened to Skype now? Because in 2011, Microsoft bought Skype for $8.5 billion. Charlie, that's what they be you. Hey! Hold up. Wait a minute. At the time, Skype was the most expensive buyout in Microsoft history, and yet Skype was nowhere mentioned in the keynote. Charlie, Microsoft. Now, wow. Anyway, let's move on. Microsoft Chief Product Officer, Panos Panay, calls widget a beautiful sheet of glass that delivers a personalized feed powered by AI, which is to say, widgets cannot be swiped in and out to provide quick access to weather, news, and other web content. Simple enough. Android apps cannot be installed on Windows. Mm, kind of. You see, this is a partnership between Microsoft and Amazon, so you need an Amazon account in order to install Android apps on Windows because it's the same Android apps on the Amazon App Store which is now incorporated into the Windows Store through Intel Bridge technology. So what about AMD compatibility if you have AMD computer? Well, Microsoft said Intel Bridge will work across all x86 platforms, including those made by AMD. So Charlie, no sweat, you're good. The new Microsoft Store. As part of the announcement, Microsoft revealed a major policy change to incentivize developers to build up for the Microsoft Store. So starting from July 28th, if a developer used their own or a third-party payment system in their app, Microsoft let them keep 100% of the revenue. But actually, the deal has one more caveat though. It doesn't apply to games. Pitchfork Microsoft. Hey, what happened? Xbox Game Pass is now built into Windows 11. The Xbox app will now allow for Xbox Cloud Gaming for those who subscribe to Xbox Game Pass Ultimate. Half the latest game cannot be played across all Windows 11 platforms. Windows 11 will also offer two more game-oriented features. One, Auto HDR, and two, Direct Storage API, both of which debuted on the Xbox Series X and Series X. So now let's talk about Auto HDR. As the name implies, Auto HDR will automatically convert standard dynamic range HDR source to high dynamic range HDR image. Also, Auto HDR will require no effort from game developers, but players will need to have an HDR cable display in order for Auto HDR to work. Well, that's simple enough. Okay, now Direct Storage API. Direct storage is designed to support higher read and write speed of NVMe SSD, allowing games to take advantage of that increased data bandwidth for two main benefits. One, greatly reduce game load time and enhance graphics by allowing games to load assets directly to the GPU without having to bog down the CPU. Two, allow game developers to increase the scope of their game world much more larger and much more detailed. Well, simple enough. Windows updates are now 40% smaller and Windows will get one major update annually instead of two. So the big question now is, should they upgrade and how much will it cost? Well, Windows 11 will be a free upgrade only if your system supports it. You see, Microsoft failed to mention in the keynote that Windows 11 is only 64-bit and requires secure boot and TPM version 2.0 module in order to upgrade to Windows 11. On the Microsoft website under FAQ and under minimal hardware requirements, system requirement for Windows 11 is two or more cores on a compatible 64-bit processor or system on a chip, SOC, 4GB of RAM, 64GB of storage, secure boot and trusted platform module, TPM version 2.0, and a compatible DirectX 12 GPU. So if your system does not support this, <laughs> then you need to buy a new one, says Microsoft with their system compatibility checkout, which you can download from Microsoft and install on your PC to check if your PC is Windows 11 compatible. Now, Windows 11 will be available as free update to all Windows 10 licensed users. And people buying PCs today will be eligible for free upgrade when Windows 11 launch around the holiday season. Now, I'll also be doing a follow-up video on how to enable Secure Boot and Intel Platform Trust Technology, BTT, in your motherboard BIOS in order to upgrade to Windows 11. 
So Charlie, don't forget to subscribe, like and share, and also turn on the notification bell so that you can be notified when I post this video. Charlie, thank you for joining me today on Quasi Tech Space. I'll see you in the next video. That's it.